number 11, Junior Brett Hansen. And guard, number 33, Senior Patrick King. I'm with uh, Dave Wheeler, uh, coach of Manchester Central. Nice win tonight. 11-point uh, game it certainly wasn't that kind of game, but uh, you know, tournament kind of atmosphere. I know you're sort of working, you know, the Martin guys, the brothers in for one. But uh, you know, what does this do for you guys early in the season? It doesn't count, but I mean, this is this is one to one A in, in Division One. It's, it's a nice win for you guys. It, it's a nice win, but most of all, it tells us what we got to do to get better. Um, when you play really talented teams, they expose some things that you're not real strong at. So we, we saw those things. Um, quite frankly, in the six minutes that we played them the first time, we, we, we went back, broke down the film, and we've been working on some of the things from that game. 
uh, for, for the last three or four days, which I thought we got better at. I thought they gave you trouble in the half court. They had trouble with you. But I thought they gave you trouble when they were able to push the ball up the court. Ryan Otis and Brad Rose were able to get up or Patrick Keep up the sideline, get some transition baskets on you. Did you see that? Did I see that correctly? Absolutely. Yeah. Um, when, it, when we scouted them last night watching them play Memorial, I thought that's how they really took the game over against Memorial. Uh, they were exceptional in, in transition. And, uh, you know, we, we talked before the game started about making the possible adjustment of putting the second kid back. Uh, we never made that adjustment during the game. Maybe when we watched the film, maybe we should have. You run tremendous sets. You're a championship winning coach, one of the best. But sometimes your best play is giving the ball to Brett Hansen and getting out of his way. I thought when he broke guys down in the middle of the floor, it created so much whether he was dishing or scoring. He had 38 points tonight, but talk about how this kid has gotten a lot better. And well, one of the neat things about Brett is, you know, he's gone from about 5'10". He started for us double-digit scorer as a sophomore. Now he's about 6'2", and his elbow's over the rim. And, and he's a kid that works at it every single day. Yeah. He, you know, he's, he's really passionate about the game. He's really fun to coach. You know, some coaches, you know, they're not blessed to have too many kids that are as passionate about the game as yeah. we are. And, and I, I've got the um, great opportunity to coach a team that's got seven or eight of kids that just love to work and love to play. And Brett's just a uniquely talented yeah. kid that works hard at it every day. And you got a good, last question, you got a good Exeter team tomorrow. They're deep. Uh, they were down early in this game. I'm sure you watched it against Merrimack, but then they threw full court pressure at them. They got so many guys. They're kind of, Jeff Holmes is able to kind of do that, people. Obviously, you'd be prepared for that, but that's, that's another great test for you guys tomorrow night. No, it's, um, we, we went in. Merrimack's up 50 to 42. Yeah. We came out, and the score is 61 to 52. 20 to 2 run. Yeah. So, uh, you know, how does that happen? It happens because you get depth, you play a lot of kids, yeah. and you're physically fit. Yep. Um, they, they give you a lot of different looks. And Exeter presents their own, you know, unique set of yeah. challenges, yep. which it's going to be tough. You know, They're we big, just told yeah. the kids, you know, like, you know, you, you got to get some sleep, you got to hydrate, and and this is a nice win in the semifinal. But I don't know how much it means if you can't finish it off. Yeah, yeah. You know? Co Coach, thank you very much as thank always. You. Congratulations. Thank you.